congratulations to graduating senior from Woodlawn High School, Ariana Noel Rivera. To the class of 2024, congratulations, we did it. <laughs> thank you, thank you. What a time to be alive. Why, you might ask? Just look around, see how much has changed, either completely rearranged, exchanged, or deranged. Impossible highs and unforeseen lows, because you can't have the joy without knowing the blows. Life comes fast and so does the grief, reinforcing the hope and resilient belief that's brought us all here, that keeps us sustained, that activates faith in the futures we claim. Just take a look around, nearly impossible to overlook. All we've been through and what's left to still do, skew and shift the view to watch how we make this world new, the class of 2024. Look at what we've come through. Look at what we've come to. Starting in the middle of a global pandemic, show me a class with such a challenging feat. Raising, your, raising our voice against problems systemic, Unified and strengthened, we rise to our feet. For those that didn't make it, we cherish in our hearts. We'll soon resume to break it, the opposition before it starts. The book of 1 Timothy says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but instead set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. That's chapter four, verse 12. Allow me to delve into a truth that should never be shelved or quelled, but rather revered, respected, upheld. Class, set an example with your speech. Others may seek to tear down when they speak, from cool kids to geeks, nerds, athletes, and freaks. We're not phased or discouraged in spite of sights we've seen when bleak. The world will catch up, and though we may come off strange, we'll use the most powerful tool to influence change, our words. We trailblaze and trendset with conduct and action, with so much more to contribute than just essays, tests, and fractions. Our faction is unique, finding power and simplicity, shedding obsolete patterns and generational toxicity, carving a new path, forsaking shameful faults ingrained, and anything else set out to leave our legacy stained. This compassion we exhibit, humanitarians at service, denouncing the voice of hate with strong wills despite how nervous. We are the generation that sees a need and meets our brother, and the world sees the face of God when we merely love each other. This passion, we protect, guard, shield, in case. And in case you were wondering, this is how we model faith. Understanding that God is good, knowing he is in control. The victory is mine, saith the Lord, we all extol. We set example with purity, with childlike awe and wonder. Never abandoning our beliefs in the zeal that makes us hunger. The knowledge of self, knowing he makes all things new. The bliss in knowing the words alive and all these things are true. I define purity as the unashamed and unhindered belief in who God is. Now, we may be subject to fear when life circumstances tower, but now how we respond in adversity's face is where we display power, which sets us apart in case you didn't hear. This, the beautiful resilience, the class of 24. So again, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for believers in speech and conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Amen. <laughs>